Hello YouTube, uh, my name is RJ and this is RJ's Knives. Uh, today we'll be talking about a variation of the uh, TL29. This is a commercial variant made by Camelus and it is uh, for the company Exolite. It's uh, your standard TL29. It's got half stops. And as you can tell, this blade is marked uh, Camelus and Exolite is etched onto the uh, blade. And this is a Camelus uh, tank stamp from the mid nineties. That's when I got this knife. Uh, Exolite calls this the K22, which you can see there on the blade. This thing is a little bit dusty, but the, uh, the K22, Exolite uh, branded. They still sell this knife and you can find it on the internet. It's like your standard uh, TL29s. It comes with the uh, with the bail. This uh, particular knife, uh, I was inspired to do this video from uh, Pete, the Jersey Knife Guy. Here's our screwdriver blade and it's got the sharpened uh, portion there. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Uh, he got one that was made by uh, Colonial, so it's kind of a uh, variation of a variation. I think Camelus kind of uh, started these knives way back in the day. But uh, yeah, I work as a service technician, and so I was issued this knife uh, in the mid-90s. Uh, when I came to work for the company, they gave us uh, toolboxes, and this was in there. I didn't really carry this knife. Uh, at that time, and I think kind of what has stopped the TL29s, you can see they have very thick blades, which are really good uh, from being as popular is uh, guys like this Gerber multiplier from back in that time frame, and this Leatherman Blast, uh, which I carried uh, both of those, and I'll do separate videos on those. But with a uh, tool like this, obviously, you're getting, you know, all kinds of extra uh, tools uh, besides just a screwdriver, especially with Phillips, since most of uh, our stuff does, you know, work with uh, Phillips uh, type uh, things. But I'll do separate videos on these guys. And you can see those. And here is the uh, Blast, which is not uh, sold anymore. It has these uh, nice cushioned finger grips uh and this is a this is a good tool it's actually one of my favorite leathermans uh i really like this one but they don't make this model anymore uh but again i'll do a, a separate video on this as well uh just you know the tl29 is the uh, military designation uh, and that was for uh, tool linesman uh, number 29 they started making these back in uh, 1915 and they were adopted for use in the US military. They were issued all the way through the uh, 80s. I don't know if they still issue them uh, today. Uh, I would have to ask someone who may be in the military uh, that uh, can comment on that and let us know if that uh, is something that uh, they still issue. It's kind of an interesting uh, tale. Anyways, uh, just kind of a, of a short video, an introductory video. Uh, I'll kind of be telling stories about knives and whether I carry them or if I don't carry them, uh, my experiences with them. Uh, when I watched Pete's video, I got to tell you that I did start to carry this one. And I went ahead and took it with me on a couple of jobs. And for a couple of uh, pieces of equipment that needed a flat bladed screwdriver, I did use it. Uh, it wasn't the best screwdriver, uh, kind of, I would compare it to using one of these uh, multi-tools as far as, uh, you know, being able to screw stuff was just fine, but then it's not a, uh, not as good of a grip as you're going to get with a regular uh, screwdriver that's purpose built for that. But that's not what these tools were invented for. You know, you kind of have the original multi-tool and then as they've been, you know, updated by various companies uh, that's made for when you wanted to only have 
one tool. And I think if I was working on telephone lines or telegraph wires and stuff like that, then the uh, this Exolite knife would be perfect for that task. For modern day electronics, uh, not so much because you have a lot of specialty built tools and it's much easier to like, you know, strip wire with a wire stripper or to uh, use, uh, you know, one of, you know, your other things. Kind of what's cool about this knife though, uh, when you think about it, let me close this blade and pull out the uh, screwdriver, is that it is a uh, liner lock on here that you can see. And that's kind of cool because you basically have a slip joint knife uh, with the half stops and then you have a liner lock. So it's kind of a cool uh, combination that you have there. It's uh, kind of a kind of a neat uh, tool. Like I said, it's still handy. It rides well in the pocket. Uh, I didn't have any any issues uh, carrying it when I did. Uh, but like I said, it's just kind of limited uh, usability for what I do because I can, you know, I have other tools that are, are more specialized that uh, do this kind of a job uh, maybe a little bit better. But in a pinch, uh, it will work. And that's what these tools are all made for. This is uh, stuff that you use in a pinch, stuff when you uh, that you pull out when you uh, have uh, no other options. You know, so it's uh, it's kind of cool. Anyways, uh, like I said, I, I hope you guys tune in. I hope that uh, you guys like this video. Uh, if you did, uh, please comment, uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, share my videos. It'd be much appreciated. And uh, hopefully I'll uh, see you in the next one. There's plenty more coming. Talk to you guys later. Thanks.